Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. and in today's video um, we're going to resolve the um, no audio from the um, from your laptop or computer uh, via your HDMI cable to your television. So if you've uh, decided to um, watch some Netflix uh, from your laptop and you're plugging it into the television with your HDMI cable and you're only getting uh, video and you're not getting any audio then um, this should uh, this should resolve it for you so uh, let's get right into it uh, so basically 99% um, of the time this has nothing to do with the TV and everything to do with the computer and typically it's because the um, the driver software is either not installed or is out of date. So, um, or your playback device um, is set at the wrong default. So let's uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is just see if your playback device, um, the one that you have as your default, is the correct one. So on the bottom right hand corner, and the, everything I'm doing here is universal. So um, from Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, um, and even before Windows 7, this is all universal. Um, look for the volume icon and right click on that and click uh, playback devices. So in here, you're gonna have uh, everything that your, um, that your computer has installed that you can um, play audio from. So um, right now, this is my main one. This is where my HDMI is coming from, the uh, my NVIDIA. So that is my default. Um, that's from, this is my HDMI cable uh, going to uh, my monitor slash TV. So this is okay. If you see another one up here that has, um, you know that has the um, not the green check mark but you'll see that um, it is available to set as a default um, just make sure that it is um, just change it to that click on it and click set as default and see if that um, will play the audio from your um, laptop or computer to uh, your television so but this is my only one. I know this is the HDMI, so it's already set as my default. And you would just hit apply and then OK, and then see if that works. Uh, if you don't see that option or that option doesn't work, then we need to upgrade the driver software. And there are two ways to do that. Um, the first one is hitting the Windows key and the letter R at the same time. Well hold the Windows key to hit the letter R. And in the dialog box, type in devmgmt.msc and hit OK. And like I said, this is universal. That's why I'm doing it this way. So um, you can get to Device Manager uh, from any version of Windows. And we're gonna go to Display Adapters and we're gonna right click on the display adapter that comes up for you. So I'm going to right click and do update driver software and then I would click uh, search automatically for updated driver software. <clears throat> so what we're doing here is trying to allow Windows to find the update without having to install any other programs. If Windows does find it, let it install, um, let it download and install the, um, the update and then uh, restart the computer. Uh, after that, um, try it again. Plug in the HDMI cable from your laptop or your computer to your TV and see if the audio is there. Uh, if Windows does not find your update, then I highly recommend a program called Driver Booster and I'll put the link in the description. So just click free download and go through the prompts and then I'm just going to open up Driver Booster right now because I already have it downloaded to save us some time here. Uh, you're going to be prompted. Uh, it'll um, start scanning automatically for you. 
and so it goes through everything all of your hardware on your computer to see if any of the hardware does need updates um, for any compatibility issues so um, what you would do is you would actually um, mine is actually uh, updated but what you would look for is the same thing it would say uh, display adapter so you don't need to select all you can you can go through these later if you like but if you just want to get the audio playing on the TV then let's do this so just um, so you're gonna find where it says display adapter and like I said mine doesn't have it because I'm already updated so I'm okay <laughs> so find your display adapter and then check the box and then click update now I'm just doing something else hit OK and then allow driver booster to um, download the uh, the driver software and then install it as well uh, after that is finished uh, restart the computer and then I'm pretty sure you will have audio um, from your laptop or computer to your TV so uh, I hope this helped you guys out and I will see you in the next one uh, thanks for watching. Later.